Reminder this morning from the people we will be celebrating and honoring this holiday. Combat veterans all across our area saying fireworks are a painful and often terrifying reminder of war. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean joins us now in the studio. And Kristen, they ask that you be aware of your neighbors. Try to give them some notice if you're planning to set off fireworks. The 4th of July holiday in one week, but for many, the celebrations will start this weekend. And for many combat veterans, the sights and sounds of fireworks are eerily similar to war and can trigger panic attacks and painful memories of traumatic events. Grandpa, we got to get back up there. How many eggs do you want? Uh, just two, please. An average breakfast for a man yeah. who's anything but. Alan Slocum is a With grandfather, you. an animal lover, and a Vietnam vet. One of my bronze stars. He's earned two bronze stars, an army commendation, a uh, silver star, and two hard. purple hearts. He's a hero, although purple he doesn't think so. Metal. The heroes are the ones that didn't come back. Yes. They gave everything. But Slocum gave a lot, too. Drafted in 1968, he worked convoy security in an infantry platoon in Vietnam. And more than 45 years later, his experiences in the jungle still haunt him. I had made friends with a, a guy that happened to be from the Detroit area. And we sat up all night one night talking about home and what we were going to do and family and the next day I watched him burn up in his his APC armored personnel carrier and I had this this beast on my back that uh, I should have done more why why him and not me uh, I recovered his remains the next day uh, and the only thing that was left was enough to put into a sandbag. That tragedy has taken years for Slocum to talk about. And those painful memories come back every year around this time because of this, fireworks. If you've been in combat, those sounds of firecrackers going off sound like an AK-47 being fired at you. Uh, large rockets, the explosion, artillery, uh, rocket propelled grenades and he's not alone uh, i was in the army i was a medic over in nam we talked with a group of combat veterans who meet regularly in a local support group sounds like uh unit where we were at they were like walking mines and mortars right up the center of the compound you gotta try to learn how to cope veterans say they appreciate the patriotism but they want people to be aware of those around them. Abide the rules. Don't shoot anything before or after the hours are uh, set. Slocum agrees. It helps to talk about his memories, and he is healing. It's really traumatic. It really is. Uh, about the time you think you're, you're getting things under control pretty well, uh, people don't realize that those sounds of the 4th of July sound very much like combat to veterans. So as you celebrate our free country this week, make sure you remember to respect the very people who fought to keep it that way. One of the things they told me is it's not necessarily the July 4th fireworks that affect them, but it's the unexpected fireworks, the fireworks that happen on June 30th, mm -hmm. July 2nd, July 6th, those kinds of things, because those come out of the blue and can really scare them. They say uh, that's why you should warn your neighbors and be respectful of those around you. Yeah. Also, vets, a message to you guys. You can put signs in your yard to let people know that you live there. Mm -hmm. We'll put a link to those and where you can purchase one of those on our website, WSBT.com. Yeah. That's a good idea. It yeah. is something you often don't think about. No, so. never thought of it. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Good stuff. Thanks. The time now, 639. And for